you know, Lester recently did a live with his mom. Now, when Lester first came out, everybody loves Lester and they want to hear stories. Yes, they do. They want to hear stories of Lester, stories about Daniel. Poor Gigi. Poor G really meant to talk about when Lester's videos first came out. However, what came out of her mouth was when Lester first came out, which we all know means something much different in today's day and age. So in true Lester fashion, I thought I'd take a spin on this and add a little humor to Lester's birthday this year and tell the world where I was when Lester first came out and have the rest of our friends and family also play along as to where they were when Lester first came out. Come on, I know you wanna watch. Let's go. Here I was in Illinois, living a very simple life, doing my own thing, raising a son. And then there comes this Lester guy and he came out and it was big. And I mean like it exploded all over the internet. And since then, it changed my life. It changed a lot of people's life. In fact, it has all of us coming out just left and right. Nobody's gonna do it like Lester did though. When he comes out, he means business. Hey guys, it's Daniel and DJ from Arms Family Homestead and some other YouTube channel. Really? Do that, your best. Yeah. Yeah. And do you remember where you were when Lester came out? Because I do. I remember where I was, January of 19. I was building fence. That was like the big project I had going on. Actually not this fence, but one just like it. And I know when I build fence, I don't do this head, shoulders, knees, and toes thing. We actually like get tape measures out and like build fences in a straight line. Lester doesn't do straight. <laughs> do you remember where you were when Lester came out? Yes, I was uh, in a gym somewhere watching Weston play basketball. <laughs> that was that was Weston's uh, senior year, right? Or junior um, year. January junior 19 year. would have been his would junior been year. Junior year, yes. He jumped straight every time. <laughs> Lester apparently does not. I know exactly where I was and exactly what I was doing when Lester came uh, out. It was really hard to... Um, to put much energy into Lester coming out. Um, it went over really, really well. I don't think anybody in our family didn't already know the circumstances and the situation. And so it wasn't a surprise. Um, but uh, it was, you know... It was a beautiful thing. It was beautiful. Um, so accepted. And um, it was so beautiful. Yeah, I, I remember it was 2019. We were at our old farm. Uh -huh. the, day, the day Lester came out. And the reason why I remember that day specifically was because it's a huge storm that day. Huge oh, storm. Yeah, remember, yeah, remember? yeah, 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 yeah. And the day Lester came out, after that huge storm, there was this beautiful rainbow. It, it was beautiful. It covered the entire sky. It did. That was it. it. That That's was the day. We, that was the day Lester came out. What were we doing in January of 2018? Oh, the year that Lester came out? Yeah, the year Lester came out. Mm. The year that Lester came out, it snowed. It snowed. Yeah, it snowed out here. Kids played covering. in the snow. That was really fun. It was a strange time because we had one extreme with the flood and then one extreme with the snow. snow. Right. I remember looking at the pictures of everything covered in water, everything covered in snow. Yeah. <clears throat> I was yeah. still in real estate. You were doing and school then, stuff and, and Lester came out. found out that Lester came out. And, you know, we, we weren't really... Uh, we weren't on board at yeah, first. We weren't on board with it. We didn't really know what to think. We didn't know. know what to think. No, I, it's not that we weren't on board. We just, we were taken off guard. Like, we were taken off guard. Yeah, it was the first time anyone in our family had come out. Yeah. So, so I mean, yeah. then people started joining in. Yeah. 
And, and other people started coming out. Yeah, but we were the last on the hill. We were the last ones to come out. Yeah. So. But thanks to Lester. Yeah. We all feel comfortable. We feel comfortable doing it now. Yeah. So, thanks yeah. for coming out, Lester, and I hope you have a. Hey guys, Ellie here. Today we asked the question of where was I when my dad came out. Now, I remember that day like it was yesterday. Back in 2017, I was a senior in high school. To be truthful with you though, my dad, he'd been doing it for at least 10 plus years prior to that day. Any opportunity he had uh, at his job, with his friends, any chance he could get, he would try to do it. But I think Hurricane Harvey ha happening in 2017 is what really made him decide, you know what? I need to do this full time and the rest is history. He's done it at least multiple times a day for the past five years. So that's where I was. So where was I the day that Lester finally came out? You know, it's it, there's a lot of things in history that happen throughout your life that you'll never forget where you're at and what you're doing. Um, when that particular thing happens, Lester coming out is one of those things. It was January 19th. It was actually my birthday, but what I was doing, here, just let me show you real quick. It's got a notification. Lester is live. <laughs> he just came out. I was looking for the trespasser, but Lester just came out. I seen it. Oh my gosh. I'll never forget this day. I was looking for trespassers on the property and um, got that news that Lester came out. You know what? I will say this about Lester. I'm not surprised that he finally came out. Um, I knew this was going to happen eventually, um, that he was going to come out and, um, he finally did. Um, you know, maybe it wasn't on his terms, you know, maybe his mom had a little something to do with that. But, you know, bless her heart, she didn't know he wasn't ready to come out yet, but then it happened. So I'm proud of you, buddy, for coming out. Hey, Les. I was just sitting here thinking, you know, just for kind of remembering back on things over the last several years. And, you know, I remember when you first came out and, uh, boy, he was so bold in doing what you did coming out that way. And, you know, I wasn't there to support you like I should have been uh, as a brother. I should have been there for you, for you more. But, you know, it was right after Harvey. And uh, we all had our home building projects going on and trying to rebuild all of our lives after Harvey. And the way you did yours, man, uh, oh, man, it was just so awesome. I wish I could have been there more for you. I know it was probably difficult for you to make those kind of decisions to come out like that, but I just want to tell you that I'm proud of you, brother, and I'm always here for you. And if you ever need me, just just reach out. Catch you later. Love you, bro. Where are you? Where was I when Lester came out? Mm -hmm. I was living in Alaska. I was teaching preschool, and I honestly couldn't believe what popped up on my screen, and it was Lester. Yeah, he, you know, when he came out, I was standing right about here, right about here in a puddle of water, and my word, I couldn't believe it. Father came out. Where was I when Lester came out? I had no idea about this place. I was living 15 minutes down the road in Huffman, and I was starting my senior year doing my jolly old good thing. Had no idea about this place, and... Lester coming out. Poor Gigi. I feel terrible that I have taken her little snafu of words and played on this extensively. But in all seriousness, I love that man with my whole heart. And I am incredibly blessed that he came out and that he chose to share so much of his life with me. So I hope, babe, that you have an incredible birthday. Thank you for allowing me to be a part of it and to be a part of so much of your time as you take these trips around the sun. Cheers to many more. Oh, and one more thing, y'all. Where were you when Lester came out?